Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to defeat this uncollected guillotine 2099. So first things first, she's a robot. So all the typical robot solutions work, namely let's say Medusa. It's a super easy fight, only thing you do want to do is get your uh, armor shutter on her as early as possible, then none of her abilities will work and basically she's gonna be pretty much piece of cake vanilla champion. Only things you will have to remember is uh, the way her special animations look like and both of the specials are quite easy to await. Uh, level one basically just have projectile, level two you can simply outrange. And yeah, so armor shutter on a guillotine, she can't gain power, she has no abilities and once again medusa absolutely shreds through guillotine i do think it's quite cool that they added another robot and medusa will have another target to shred now one important thing is about this guillotine that she basically can force you to miss she can go kind of like invisible but it is only 15 percent chance on light and medium attacks so you can get Pass that with any single champion in the game and only thing you have to do is just throw your heavy attacks right if you only throw heavy attacks she will never uh, go invisible you will never have to worry about missing your attacks and she becomes a super easy champion so pick up any champion start dropping heavies there will be no invisibility involved and you will have no problems dealing with her whatsoever and yeah once again then it's gonna be just a case of dealing with her special attacks which are not all that difficult to be honest and do remember that she does have a regen buff towards a end when she slips below five percent health i believe and yeah so once again remember light and medium attacks is the only thing that can in fact make her go invisible now another thing obviously as always uh there is quick right you don't attack her you don't care if she is invisible in the first place and b you don't attack her she will never go invisible uh therefore yeah she is another champion that can you can easily quake without any worries in the world there's absolutely nothing stopping you no unavoidable damage no unavoidable hits you can avoid it you can quake it super easy barely an inconvenience you have absolutely no trouble dealing with this guillotine if you can use quake as you probably already know and yeah so i think we have seen pretty much more or less enough of this fight i will cut it off in a second once again uh but yeah guys remember quake is the goat and now next champion we're going to be taking a look at will be uh corvus once again uh, it's quite easy to deal uh, with this guillotine uh, with pretty much any champion in this case i'm showcasing it with corvus just because uh, you can always operate while your stun uh, from parry is active as we saw there she did go invisible but if she's under parry stun she has no chance to punish us therefore you can play her as normal pretty much just use parry and two to three hit combos and you will be doing just fine you can use any champion and yeah just parry her and then hit her while she is stunned she doesn't have limber on that node there's absolutely nothing stopping you from simply playing a bit slower uh, relying on your parry stun and the fact that she cannot retaliate if she is in fact stunned and then it is pretty much an easy cookie cutter fight with any champion so the main thing here is just don't rush and as i mentioned earlier because she is a robot champion another fantastic option is nebula obviously you just need to get your six uh, shock charges once you do uh, basically she has no ability accuracy whatsoever she will never go invisible you don't have to worry about anything in this fight as you can see even her combo meter stops at this point uh, and yeah that's about it so only thing you want to do there is uh, just play a bit carefully don't parry her accidentally get yourself some more shock charges uh, which level one is quite perfect for by the way because it is kind of like a long enough animation for you to be able to simply wait out another shock charge and then once you have gotten a bunch once you are at like two bars of power you can always drop that parry uh, then chain your level two into that and just see her health drain away which is exactly what you're going to do in a second so we parried her dropping our level two 
32 charges and her health absolutely disseminated and yeah so uh, another fantastic option is captain america infinity war because pretty much of all the reasons that we mentioned before uh, the fact that uh, you can operate under your uh, stun the fact that your heavy attacks basically will not cause her to go invisible also the fact that obviously he has perfect parries so you don't have to worry about chip damage now one thing worth mentioning is that guillotine will apply her effects from special one and special two on you even if she misses so every time she will drop her level one you will lose 80 percent of your current power so that might make champions that do rely on their special attacks quite tricky to use also heal reversal she will place it to you with her level twos uh, whenever she drops her level two regardless if she hits and connects it or not and another approach to this fight you can easily use are the champions that simply cannot miss so in this case we're showcasing a human torch here so so long as human torch has at least 10 temperature he cannot miss so that means that you can ignore that invisibility of hers also that a heal reversal will help you finish her off from the last five percent and cancel out her heal and uh, the way you gain your temperature with human torch in this matchup is also quite handy because you have to spam your heavy attacks basically and that also means that she cannot go invisible meanwhile in the process but as you can see here now that we have temperature even though she has gone invisible every single hit of human torch does land and we have absolutely no problems dealing with her and just need to be careful to make sure that your temperature is in fact above 10 because if it's below you can still miss it's kind of similar with nick fury now nick fury is a bit gimped in this matchup because she is bleed immune so you probably do not want to use her and now another fight uh just to kind of demonstrate that there are definitely different methods of dealing with her we're just simply going to be using void and we will let all the debuffs basically do the job for us we will drop occasional attack while she's under stun we will drop some heavies uh, maybe a level one or two but for most part we're just going to be stalling this fight there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and then also once she will enter her regen phase towards the end of her life obviously you are able to reverse that heal and pretty much watch her drain away immediately uh, so yeah this boss i feel is not all that tricky overall especially once you understand the mechanics and understand the fact that she only goes invisible uh, from your basic light and medium attacks so we can see here that void is slowly but surely doing his job she's below 50 percent uh, health at the moment so we're just going to drop some more heavy attacks there the more debuffs obviously the more damage we are dealing and it's overall good time even for a four star void so overall i do believe this uncollected is in fact quite easy none of the bosses are really all that difficult or require some sort of specific counters maybe apart from mephisto but as we all know, Mephisto has a lot of counters and we're quite used to him already. It's quite strange they added Mephisto as a final boss. I don't uh, think I like it. I would have preferred that to be like a man thing or something. Uh, but hey, what you gonna do? Uh, so here we saw Guillotine 2099 drop down. And the kind of like the last few remarks for the video, once again, will be to reiterate that she only goes invisible from your light and medium attacks. And that is pretty much a key to fighting her alongside with the fact that she's a robot because whenever you will see her in any other quest you will know that she's a robot, any Medusa can destroy her, uh, but you can use any champion, stick to your special attacks, stick to your heavy attacks, if she's stun immune then champions like Hyperion will be fantastic, overall uh, yeah she's not all that difficult of a defender, obviously she has a lot of abilities that make her a bit of a hyped attacker at the moment, I'm definitely extremely anxious to she to see what she can do in the contest in Labyrinth of Legends and obviously in Abyss of Legends in near future. 
but for now while it is gonna be down to me to fight her i definitely already feel fairly comfortable uh not to worry about her too much uh, but yeah guys let me know what you think about this month's uncollected quest did you like it did you already complete it are you looking forward to it which of the three new champions are you the most excited about which is the one you are considering of trying to scope for yourself if you will be opening any crystals i uh, myself probably will still uh, kind of like not spend and yeah so i will just wait and see what happens for now uh, but i hope you guys liked the video if you did hit that like button hit that sub button hit all the buttons and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya